In a more basic math course, we learned how to solve systems of, of equations when we have two straight lines. We find the point where the lines cross. We use methods like substitution, comparison, and elimination to do this. Now, we have a linear quadratic system where we are not given two straight lines. We are given a straight line and a parabola, and we have to find the point or points where they cross. Most straight lines will cross a parabola in two places. What we do is we use the same methods. I'm going to use comparison to solve this system. The parabola equation is y equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. The straight line equation is y equals 2x plus 9. Comparison allows us to write 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 2x plus 9. We are comparing what y is equal to in one equation with what y is equal to in the other. Simplifying this, I get 3x squared minus 2x. If I move this 2x to the other side, I have another minus 2x plus 5. And if I move the 9 to the other side, minus 9 equals 0. Simplifying this, 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals 0. This time I have what I call a complex trinomial that can be solved with factors. I will not illustrate the method of complex trinomial right now because that is already the subject of another video on this site. But I can tell you that the factors of this trinomial are 3x plus 2 x minus 2 so I make that system equal to zero. Now I have to make each of these binomials equal to zero to find out what the points of intersection are. 3x plus 2 equals zero simplifies to give us 3x equals negative 2. x is therefore equal to negative 2 thirds. x minus 2 equals 0 simplifies to x equals 2. We have the x-coordinates of both of the points of intersection. x equals 2 is one of them, and x equals negative 2 thirds is the other. All I have to do to find the points of intersection is plug these x-coordinates into either equation, the one from the quadratic or the one from the straight line. I'm going to plug them into the straight line because it's faster and easier. If I plug a 2 into the x position of this, I get y equals 2 times 2 plus 9, y equals 4 plus 9, y equals 13. If I plug negative 2 thirds into this x position, I get y equals 2 times negative 2 thirds plus 9, y equals negative 4 thirds plus 9, y is therefore equal to 7 and 2 thirds. If I write that as an improper fraction, it's 23 thirds. This is how you solve for the points of intersection between a quadratic and linear system. Let's look at another system of linear and quadratic equations. In this case, the quadratic is y equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 1. And the linear is y equals 2x plus 3. Let's compare them. 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 equals 2x plus 3. Moving everything to the left side of the equal sign, I have 2x squared plus 5x minus 2x minus 1 minus 3 equals 0. Simplifying, 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. This expression is not factorable, so I have to use the quadratic formula. Our a is 2, our b is 3, and our c is negative 4. Let's find delta. Delta equals b squared minus 4ac, which in this case is 3 squared minus 4, 2, negative 4 which is equal to 9 plus 
32, which is equal to 41. To continue, our quadratic formula is negative b, which is negative 3, plus or minus the square root of delta over 2a, which is 2 times 2. The square root of 41 rounds to 6.4. So we do our split. We have negative 3 plus 6.4 over 4, and we have negative 3 minus 6.4 over 4. Negative 3 plus 6.4 is 3.4, and 3.4 divided by 4 equals 0 0.85. Negative 3 minus 6.4 is negative 9.4, which when divided by 4 gives negative 2.35. These are the x-coordinates of our solution to our system. We have 0 0.85 and we have negative 2.35. If we plug these two x-coordinates into either of the equations, then we will get the y-coordinates of the points where this line crosses this parabola. We will plug these numbers into our straight line because it will be faster and easier. 2 times 0.85 is 1.7, and 3 plus 1.7 is 4.7. 2 times negative 2.35 is negative 4.7, and negative 4.7 plus 3 is negative 1.7. These are the two points where this straight line crosses this parabola. And this is how you solve linear quadratic systems.